When planning your expedition food, choose things that are tasty and full of calories. Choose items that aren't going to perish in the expedition environment and find things that are lightweight because whatever you choose to eat, you'll need to be able to carry it with you. I'll share with you some examples of food that I like to eat when I'm on expedition. We'll split it into breakfast, daytime and evening meals. So let's start off with some ideas for your breakfast. Now, personally, I would stick clear of these boil in the bag ration packs or cans of food. The reason being they're full of water already. You have to carry the water content rather than take it out the tap at your campsite. Um, that said, things like baked beans with sausages, uh, easy to cook in the morning, very time efficient. Personally though, I prefer dry foods like porridge, oats. Now, it only takes a few minutes to make, it fills you up well uh, and is very lightweight. Things in these pots though, they do take up a fair bit of space. So what I'd suggest is opening the pot out, emptying the oats into a plastic freezer bag. And then if you're going for several days, you can put several freezer bags full of oats back in the pot. So you've still got the line that tells you how much water to put in and you can still use that as your bowl to eat the porridge out of. And a very easy idea for your breakfast, but not very good for you, are these cereal bars. You can get them cheap when they're on special offer. They taste very good. Uh, they fill you up if you have several. Um, probably not good to live off them for a long period of time though, of course. I like to have a cup of tea with my breakfast. Uh, these come in sachets raided from a, a conference I went to recently. They do perfectly for the expedition environment. Now, lunchtime, or should I say snacks. If the weather is awful, you're not going to want to stop and get your stove out and cook lunch from scratch. You'd much prefer to have something that is very readily available that you can dip into as you're moving along. Uh, and if the weather's nice, that you can stop and enjoy with the rest of your group. The obvious option is to have some sweets. Um, now they're great for morale. They fill you up briefly, but the energy is very short lived. You can expect a bit of a sugar low uh, a few hours after you've had your sweets. Yeah. That said, I always carry sweets for morale. A more filling choice is to use some bread, like pita bread or uh, tortilla wraps, that they last a, a bit longer and they're all right in the expedition environment. With wraps, you can roll them up and stick them in your rucksack and they're not gonna get broken. You can put whatever you like in them, chocolate spread, pate, very good food for expeditions. I'd also recommend things like dried fruit, uh, nuts. You can get these fruit pastes that are, are nice and filling as well. Probably not very good for your teeth though. And then for your evening meal, you want something that's filling. Um, if you want to cook at the campsite, then you've got the time to do that. Again, I steer away from the ration packs or cans because you're carrying the water already, but dehydrated foods are okay. Um, you need to pay close attention to the nutrition information on the back though, particularly things like noodles. You may well need to supplement the food that you've bought to, to make up the calories. Uh, here's one recipe that I do like to, to cook while I'm on the expedition, and that's pasta. Buy the quick cook stuff, so it's thinner and doesn't take so long. Uh, to boil. That's enough for one person for five days or five people sharing for one day. Of course, if you're going for just one or two days, open the bag out and just take what you need in a freezer bag so that you don't carry excess weight. Now, I boil that up, mix it with uh, some tomato sauce. This is just puree. You could use pesto as well. Um, then to make it tasty, add some cured meat. Um, these last for months as long as you don't open the vacuum pack inside so they're, they're a good idea for the expedition environment and that's a good main meal done for you. So there's some ideas of food that I take when I'm on expedition. Uh, of course the choice is up to you, everybody has different tastes. Uh, take something that you're going to enjoy and that you're happy to carry with you for the duration of your trip. Enjoy!